Hey Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what's in store for your April 2024? Ariel and I are going to dive in with the tarot and find out, so keep watching. So welcome to the channel or welcome back as the case may be. So good to see you here, Virgo. I hope you're all doing really well out there. So this month I have a different layout of how I'm filming the videos. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. All right. All right. Let's get into your reading. All right, Virgo, sun, moon, rising and Venus. Let's see what's going on for your April 2024. Virgos, let's see. So we are going to do a 333 spread, which is exactly that Virgo. It's three cards, three cards, three cards. Now it's not past, present, future. We look at all the energies holistically, but I pay particular attention to the energy coming into the reading, the first card, energy in the heart in the middle, and where's the energy going. We'll also look at the bottom of the deck. We have some Oracle decks to consult as well. So we'll see what's going on for your April 2024 Virgo. No reversals with this deck. All right, let's see Virgos, what we have going on for you, Virgo. All right, no reversals. Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and a Page of Wands. Okay. So some sort of info is coming in that you need to make a decision about. Could be financially related with the page of pentacles showing up here. Um, it could also be that you're doing some research to find out information that you need. Maybe you don't have enough or you, you, you don't have enough research. Maybe you feel like you need more research, but you might have enough research with the page of coins here. You may have everything that you need in your hand. However, Oh, this two of swords, you're like, well, I still don't know. Well, maybe it's not that you need more info, but you need to look within to find the answer that you need rather than keep looking outward to try to find, you know, some other piece of, uh, of facts, figures, information before you take the step forward and the action. So we're going to keep pulling the cards. This may be that you take action finally by the end of Aries season. Uh, maybe the first two weeks of April, you're stuck in this limbo land of uh, indecision and contemplation. Hopefully you're using this two of swords as a time to look within, to lower your defenses, to not tell yourself porkies or shenanigans and actually face some sort of truth, inner dialogue, about some sort of action you want to begin in your life so that you are aligned mentally, spiritually, etc. Because you know how it is sometimes it's like, sometimes we don't want to do this, this two of swords. So we just keep digging for more info outwardly when really we need the info that's inside of us to make the decision before we can move along and take action. So that's what I'm saying. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, we have the King of Wands. We have the high priestess in your heart. Interesting. So we have the two here and the two here. And we have the ace of cups. No reversals. So again, we got this, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Your intuition knows the answer to this, but you've been going up too much in your head about it. That's the other thing I feel, which is why I keep getting like this, you know, there's something inside of your spirit, in your intuition, that it has been calling your name, calling and crying out to you, Virgo. Um, but you've been a little unwilling to hear it. I think you're going to hear it, I would say, mm, with this too, by the middle of the month, okay, by the middle of April. Um, it may have to do with perhaps starting a new relationship. That is possible, whether business or personal. This King of Wands can be a time marker just for Aries season, but it also could be something to do with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius individual. Um, this Ace of Cups can be about an offer from said individual about, again, some sort of beginning, an emotional beginning, 
a creative beginning, you know, something, something like that. Um, because something wants to get started. I mean, or there's been something presented with this Ace of Cups that could get started, Page of Wands. Somebody may have very passionate uh, feelings towards you, Virgo. Somebody may have very directed energy toward you. Um, but because this guy's looking this way, kind of away from me, I'm going to use this as your energy because you are smack dab in the middle here with this and this. If you, if you wait too long, this is going to go this way, this opportunity. Okay. So notice how this is going this way. This is going that way. You got to decide if you're coming or going is what I feel. Are, are you going to step into this before this slips out of your hand or are you not? And I think this is somewhat a significant opportunity. Even if I just read the King of Wands as an opportunity in business, which it can be an opportunity for you to really step out, shine, direct your energy into some enterprise that is really fabulous with this Ace of Cups. Like you feel like so excited about it. But what is holding you back? What is stopping you? Is What is the doubt that's going on here for you? Is there something going on about being in the spotlight? You know, the high priestess, priestess does not really like to be in the spotlight. She would prefer to be at home with her cats, her crystals, her incense, her little grimoire here, and just do her thing. And again, nothing wrong with that. Um... So you may not want to venture out into the spotlight or, you know, venture forth to do this, this enterprise, this new exciting thing that may be being offered to you because you're worried about maybe your private time being affected, your alone time. Okay, nothing wrong with that again, but be honest with yourself about that. Or is that an excuse? I would ask myself, is that an excuse for not taking the opportunity? You know, so everybody has a different comfort zone when it comes to taking initiative, being in a spotlight, trying something new, um, or getting involved in another, in getting involved in a relationship, right? So it, you got to apply the energies to your life. These are general energy readings here on YouTube. So you, you just got to see where this scenario fits in your own personal life. But um, you're at a crossroads, like this two of swords, right? You're at this, this crossroads of what is my spirit gonna say yes to, or am I talking myself out of something? Okay, all right, so let's see what else we have. Hi, Rofiant. Oh, three swords, okay. And a nine of wands. All right, wow, Virgo. <laughs> Here's the Empress. Okay, so, I think what's what's maybe holding you back from this opportunity before you're saying yes to this commitment is because there's something here that's going to be hard work and you're no stranger to hard work. I mean, my God, no, like, you know, that's fine. It's not that you're against this hard work, but you don't want to have it be that you invest all this time and hard work. And then the thing turns into a terrible situation, a three of swords. It turns into a heartbreak. So whatever this commitment is, whether it's a new business opportunity, a new relationship, a new connection, whatever, whatever it is, this new thing, there's echoes of the past here for you that are being triggered. Okay. Echoes of the past are being triggered, but that is where you have to discern and decide, is that the trigger or is this the reality? Because you could have been through very recently some sort of commitment, marriage, other type of scenario that you did all the work and it left you broken hearted and, and left you holding the bag in some way. Well, somebody just went on their merry way and they didn't really care. So that's why we have this very protective high priestess in your heart, right? Who's, who's fine with being on her own or his own, right? What, who, who's ever watching this? Doesn't matter, right? But again, we can be on our own as a self-defensive mechanism. So that's what I would ask you, Virgo. I would ask you, is, is this a reaction to what may have happened over here? 
this is I do not feel this is ha this is not what is happening. Okay, this is more like the foundation of what's happening over here. Remember, I read everything holistically. Everything is a little, you know, different depending on what comes out. So, I think Virgo that there's some discerning that you need to do. We have this Empress here. So, again, there seems to be an opportunity for love or money. We got the Empress with the Venus, right? Love or money that absolutely is being presented to you. And as I said before, either you're going to say yes or it's going to run out. It's going to run out very fast. Don't let your past, if this happened to you in the past, be an indicator of what your future is going to be. Your future is brand new to be created. You're creating it with the Empress here. Okay, so I hope that that is clear. You are creating your future. You have the option to choose. Do not let this negatively influence you. Just really discern, absolutely discern. Now, I'm not saying you should say yes or no. You know, I can't tell you that, right? That you have to decide that for yourself with this internal process that you are going through. But it looks good. I mean, the Ace of Cups is here. It looks like it's going to be genuine and good. And the Empress is here also. I like that. Right? Something that can grow and be fertile and, and lush and possibly very profitable. Whether it's a relationship or a business thing. So in the very interesting energies here, here, Virgo. All right, let's see. You just don't want to get burned again. This is the issue. But then when we don't want to get burned again, then we say no to things that, that could actually be wonderful for us. And I don't want that for you either. So, all right, let's see what we got. Let's see what else we have going on for you. And I think this is going to come to a head with this Ace of Cups here at the Scorpio full moon on the 24th, 25th of April. Like if you haven't figured it out by then, whether you're saying yes or no, it doesn't matter. This thing is going to go that way anyway. It's going to leave if you don't, you know, say yes. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what else we have for you. Virgos. We have unlikely. Okay, we have an unlikely. Let's see what else we have. We have, what does it say? We have the waters of creativity and sensuality flow within my hara. Okay. Well, there she's got, you can use your imagination with the hara here. Okay. <laughs> it's not horror, but hara. H-A-R-A. <laughs> okay. So waters of creativity. Here we go. Right here. Ace of Cups, Empress, and sensuality. Yeah. Empress is a very sensual energy. So, you know, are you going to... You can choose to be sensual, it's the three, with someone else, right? Or you can choose to be on your own, sensual and creative. It's up to you. It's a choice, right? It is this choice. But don't choose out of past disappointments. That's my point. Okay. Let's see. What is this unlikely going on here for you, Virgo? Let yourself feel into the genuineness of this offer. Because the King of Wands is usually a very honest energy. And we don't have any shenanigan energies here. We don't have any uh, Fibonacci's, as I like to call them, energies. So this looks like you could trust it, but it's your baggage that's not allowing you to trust it. All right, let's see this unlikely uh, Virgos. Take that one. Yeah, four of cups. Okay. So the universe is presenting you with an opportunity. And it is unlikely to be an opportunity that is similar to your past. Again, unlikely to be that type of opportunity. Okay. It is more likely to be something that is beautiful and aligned for you. 
as I said before, and could be something that is quite, quite profitable and lovely with the Empress here. So it's up to you. You can sit there. You can sit there with your, you know, hands crossed over you. Again, very interesting, protective. Both of these, right? Covering up your heart chakra and your solar, solar plexus in that protective stance. You could choose that. That's fine. That's up to you. But the universe is trying. This is the point. The universe is trying to bring you something very nice. So maybe investigate it. Allow your, if it feels right, again, use your intuition, your discernment, and be honest with yourself. If it's really feeling right, then I think it's time to go for it, Virgo. So Virgo, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with these energies. I would love to know. Uh, love you guys. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Watt, signing out.